today we're going to put a bit of new life into this old barbecue we found on a tip. As you can see it's a little bit rusty so we're going to need to clean it up before we can move on to painting. Today is a nice still day and perfect to begin preparing and spraying the barbecue. First of all we're going to use a wire brush key for removing all of the rust and dirt that's built up over time. Before we finish cleaning up the barbecue I'm going to show you one of my top tips to remove the rust from this, the grill. All it takes is a little bit of household detergent in a bucket like one of these that you can find around your house anywhere. I found this at the back of the garage. Simply going to pop it in with some warm water and let the household detergent do the rest of the work. Having left the grill to soak for an hour or so, we're now going to use a wire brush just to remove all the remaining grease, dirt and small rust spots. Another top tip to removing rust from the legs here is from an item you can find in one of your kitchen drawers actually, I found this. Um, it's just a roll of tin foil and all I'm going to do is soak it in some household vinegar and rub it on the legs. Now that the barbecue has been cleaned and we've removed all of the excess rust and dirt, we're going to apply a first thin coat of the barbecue spray paint. As you can see on the back of the instructions, you need to apply a couple of thin coats, leave it to dry for an hour and then fire up the barbecue to cure the paint ready before use. I've cleaned up the grill and given the barbecue a couple of coats of paint. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's going to be a while until I can use it. 